Welcome back everyone, my name is Cade, and we are back in Rise of the Tomb Raider, and I know, I know, you're all saying, all the ends are saying, Cade, we beat Rise of the Tomb Raider, we beat the DLC, there's nothing left, well there is, it's called the Croft Manor, guess what? Oh snap, you can do this in VR? I have literally never done this at all, I know literally nothing about this. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's called Blood Ties, it's DLC. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. Okay, well, this is Rise of Tomb Raider Blood Ties. I don't know anything about this. I didn't even expect this at all. Hmm. I thought it'd be like a it's fun a combination. It's yeah. To be in Dad's papers somewhere. I just Maybe expected like um, a sim simple, like little fun little mini game, but no, this looks My like a full fledged crown. thing. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Not even Q, that's how you do it. Alright. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. I would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. What's that right there, down there? Nothing? Was that just, hey, check this out? Look at her face. Let me look at your face, Laura. Alright. Moving on, what's next? We have this map. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. Good thing we found it. We didn't need Dad. There we go, there's something. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Yeah. I mean, we already discovered that immortality is the thing that you can achieve thanks to the prophet's thing, Majig. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It, it must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Benjamin Croft. How do you lose, like, there's nothing that says... Laura Croft, there's nothing that says you own the Croft Manor. It's called the Croft Manor, dude. With Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. Then Anna turned out to be a jerk. What's this? One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. That's pretty cool. Man, we're already like five minutes into the video, and we have not even left the very first room. Let's go. So I much stuff. The library. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Find the entrance to the servants' passages using Laura's childhood. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servants' corridor. 
Oh, this is a library and the door is locked and I just didn't... Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always loved looking at these. Well, you're gonna look Dad at them again. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. That's a cool thing. Oh man, there's blood on the door. All right, I'm actually gonna skip that and check this room really quickly. Cause I'm imagining that that's the way you need to go. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about. I imagine that's the way you need to go. So obviously that's the way I need to avoid at all costs. Nothing. It's really raining out there. Hey, look, it's like Templar <laughs> armor. Well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, you won't be boring your sword this time. Borrowing. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. Holy heck. What's this? A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. I think your father might have had a slight obsession with immortality. That may just be a hunch, and I could possibly be wrong, but... Find a flashlight. Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. Okay. So we had to go this way anyway. I just wanted to double check. That's kind of what I was. That's kind of what I figured when I came in this room and there was all this to walk around. I was like, "There's no way it would." Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see. We've been locked. We need a key What's to open this. Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Why, though? <sighs> hmm, this belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Stop smoking. Nice. Maybe that's what ultimately ended up killing her. And sending and ultimately end up killing your father, Laura. Smoking kills, not just you. Also kills your father. And sends you on a great expedition to find the prophet and the immortality and stuff like that. Fun stuff. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? The author came in the post last week. And I still haven't told Richard. He's looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yum. We have here. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. A flashlight. Agreed, a flashlight would be a good thing to have. New gear required. The flashlight will turn on when it's right dark eyes. Okay. Well, there's still more stuff to find. Hey Jonah. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some re Alright, moving on. Same rules apply to uh, this as it did in the actual playthrough. And like, you know, if you want to read that, just hit the pause button. Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. Yep, definitely obsessed with immortality. Wonder why. Can't go that way. There's nothing here. And I don't think I saw anything on this side, but we'll just double check. Yep, see, that's why we double check. 
Hmm, I'm not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. You have a lot of ancestors there, Laura. Okay, so now we can actually go through the servants' quarters, which is nice. Because we have a flashlight. Let's go. Use the servants' passage to reach the library. Wow, it is incredibly dark in here. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. See, you could have used this flashlight when instead of the glow sticks, uh, in through the course of the literal entire game. Oh, that's not good. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. Hell no. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you trap. I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Okay. Apparently I'm going to get a master key. Oh, this is very spooky. What have we here? Amelia. I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best. Oh, this is just as creepy as I remember. It's a rat. Calm down, Laura. Sorry, I forgot the button to uh, let go of things again. What are you doing? My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before... Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Maybe. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that. You should also know by now I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. Someday, Laura. Whoops, that's the map. Otherwise known as me hitting the I'm wrong at button. Crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cleat. Okay. Again, just a rat, no biggie. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. Pull it. Nope, pulling it seems to. Oh, I see what's going on. There we go. Why does the servants' quarters have all the wine? Dad loved a good bottle of wine. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Did I not just say about why all the wine was down here? All right, moving on. Dad, this is it, the basement of despair. Indeed, Lara, muster your courage, for this That's a statue is the only path to the library of infinite knowledge. Look there, see the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. 
Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. Gotta be careful not to miss anything. One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. That was very nice of them. Very, very, mm, very nice. Water damage from the main hall above. Don't want to miss anything. Stuff here. What's this? <laughs> My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. <laughs> You're a very creative kid, it seems, Laura. It's easy to make a sort of thing like this when you literally have a freaking mansion to live in, too, I guess. Holy hell. Okay, so we have to go this way, I think. It's kind of lame. We're missing out on the statue of Anubis, I think. Unless it's here. Maybe here. This seemed like it kind of looped around. No, it didn't loop around at all. I guess we missed it. Well, that's lame. Press E to interact. Oh, this. Climb up the ladder. Plans for adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Well, we should find that missing page. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and... And we've made it, correct? What if that'll close behind us? Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. Yep, close behind me. Yep, hopefully it does. All right, well, that about does it for this episode of Rise of Tomb Raider Blood Ties. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a lot more than I expected. And as you know, we'll check in the next video. See ya!